Hi, I'm Mike Bellevue, and I write for Guns of the Old West magazine. And today we're here at the range to do some shooting with Colt's classic Bisley style single action revolver. This particular example was loaned to me by my good friend Jay Harold, better known as Rough Shot among cowboy shooters. And to me, it's one of the prettiest six guns going, though I've got to say, not the most comfortable for me to shoot. So let's take it out on the range and uh, see what it'll do. Well, here are two gorgeous Colt single action uh, army revolvers. The top one is the Bisley from the early 1900s. And the bottom one is a current third generation Colt that was produced last year. Though it has a black powder frame, so uh, it looks more like the first generation guns before the cross bolt uh, base pin retainer was, was put in. Now the Bisley model is a unique looking critter, there's no doubt about it. And it was developed because Colt single action armies had a reputation of not being uh, great target guns. I mean, they tried the flat top model, but basically the Smith & Wesson new model number three was considered to be very superior on the target range. So Colt went to work to design a gun specifically for target shooting. And the Bisley name comes from the famous Bisley range in England. Uh, which is which is basically the national range in England. Now, here are features of the Bisley gun uh, that are immediately apparent. It has a very unique hammer. And let me just uh, just demonstrate so nobody gets scared that the gun is empty. So the Bisley's got a very unique hammer. As you can see, it's very lowered, swept back to be easy to hit. And it also has a shorter hammer fall than the original single action army hammer, which is swept up, which I actually find easier to hit, but uh, I think the Colt guys kind of missed the mark when they were designing the Bisley. But that is one of the most noticeable differences, and of course the grip. And the idea with the grip is that this was supposed to provide you with a straighter grip. In fact, if you think 1911, uh, that's kind of where they were going. So it was, it was to provide a straighter grip and then it had a target trigger. And you can see, see the plow handle grip versus this one, but you can see the uh, kind of the knife trigger that the normal single action army has. And the Bisley has a wide, very curved target trigger that basically stops against the back of the trigger guard. Uh, and that was to prevent over travel uh, as a target gun. Now there are some internal differences as well uh, in the spring struct. Well, I'll show you the difference in mainsprings. This is a standard single action army mainspring and this is a Bisley mainspring. And of course you can see some differences that the grip shapes impose on them. But as we look closer you can also see that the single action army mainspring bears on the hammer with a little roller. Uh, the roller is directly on the mainspring. And when we go to the Bisley, we've got a stirrup arrangement like you'd find in a modern Smith & Wesson double action revolver. Sure, and the frames are different. It's not, uh, not like they took a single action army frame and slapped Bisley grips on it. Actually, you can see the frame is cut different here at the shoulders. So if you've got a Bisley frame, it requires Bisley grips. And if you've got a single action army frame, you can't turn it into a Bisley just by sticking Bisley grips on it. Now, Elmer Keith probably, and, and I find, by the way, that this Bisley grip, for me, is very uncomfortable to shoot. And the reason for that is, uh, if I can demonstrate this here on camera, the reason for that is because in order to get all the way up into the grip, my trigger finger wants to be up here. And to get down to the trigger, I have to bend it at a pretty unnatural angle. And it actually hurts for me, so I end up holding, holding the gun instead of up here. I tend to hold Bisley's down here so I can get my finger straighter on the trigger, uh, which almost defeats the purpose of having the Bisley, but that's the way I have to shoot them. Now what Elmer Keith did when he designed his Keith number five is he took a Bisley kept the Bisley 
back strap, which you basically have to do, and kept the Bisley hammer. And he took a single action army trigger guard and front strap and put it on and had a, uh, a new set of grips made to match that configuration. And that is essentially the same grip configuration that the Ruger Bisley is using today, uh, which makes the Ruger Bisley way more comfortable to shoot than the actual Colt Bisley. But we got a Colt Bisley, and they are kind of neat. So take her out to the range, and uh, we'll see what it'll do. Well, I think you all know the drill by now. Evil Roy is hanging out downrange. And we've got the original Colt Bisley in 38 Special. One of the earliest 38 Special Bisleys, by the way. And we're going to go see what we can do. Maybe we can make Roy jump. So let's see. Well, he's jumping. Now, I gotta apologize. You know, I packed up all my gear this morning, and it's a lot of gear to come out here and, and do this stuff. And when I got set up, I realized I hadn't brought any paint, so I can't give Evil Roy a fresh paint job. So I know it might be a little hard to spot the hits, but, uh, but I could hear them loud and clear. So, that's just the way today's gonna go. <laughs> These Bisleys, with their straight grips, spawned a peculiar shooting style that's often known as the Bisley style. It's a very weird grip where you basically, you bend your elbow and you bend your wrist. I find it really awkward, but you'll see it in a lot of Frederick Remington prints. And You know, obviously it was an authentic style at the time, so I'm going to try to demonstrate it. We'll see. You gotta get, gotta get quite a bend going here. Now this is not a rapid fire style, that's for sure. Whoop, lost count. <laughs> Concentrating so hard on getting that dumb position right, I lost count. Anyway, that's the Bisley shooting style. Well, let's shoot some targets that jump when they're hit. Well, we'll take the old Bisley Colt and we'll see how it does on those water bottles. All right, number two looks like I got the lid shot off of it. And we'll finish up with the bad guys view of the Colt Bisley. <laughs> 